Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a H&H 7x20, 9,900 pound GVW aluminum power tilt. This would be the EXA speed loader model. Comes in a variety of lengths, but generally the 20 foot on the 10K seems to be very common. We stock this in both a standard model, which is shown in a separate video, and a deluxe model, which is shown here. So I'll take a walk around show you some of the standard features as well as some of the options that we throw on the deluxe trailer. So I'll start by walking around. I'll show you some of the features that we add to this over standard. So this trailer comes standard with a driver's side toolbox. On these we've added the passenger side box. Also moving back, the front stone guard on these is not standard, or the front rock guard. So it's a powder-coated subframe with an ATP wrap. We've also added a winch plate on this. We did not go so far as to add a winch itself because that's something we can fairly easily add at the dealership or you can certainly do uh, after the fact. We have added a spare tire mount to these. Uh, this has four of the deluxe D-rings. These are a swivel ring. They're rated at 6,000 pounds. Uh, we've used those instead of the standard, well, there's not a standard D-ring, but instead of uh, the cheaper uh, traditional D-rings. Uh, swivels just give you some extra versatility. Uh, on this we've added a few extra stake pockets. The stake pocket centers are generally a little farther. I believe we've added maybe one each side in front and I believe two each side in the back uh, over top of what is standard. Gives you some extra tie down points. Also stiffens up that rub rail. Uh, we've also added the extruded floor on this particular unit. Standard would be a wood floor. So now that you know what uh, here is optional and would not be on a standard build, uh, let me take you around and show you some of the features on the trailer. This up front is going to be a 2 and 5 16th uh, coupler. Of course, it's got your safety chains. Uh, it's got a fully sealed wire harness. It's got a 7K jack. Yeah, and this one's got the uh, dual boxes. It's a power tilt. It's got a 20 foot all weather cord. Power up, power down. KTI pump, DECA deep cycle marine battery. Now we call this a car hauler tilt mainly because of how it's hinged. Uh, generally, we refer to a two frame tilt, which would be a tongue and a main frame as a car hauler and then a triple frame tilt, which would have a nestled bed frame as an equipment. Now this here certainly built heavy enough that I'll call it an equipment tilt, but generally again, we delineate a two tongue as a car hauler tilt. So now one thing that does make this a little heavier than a traditional car hauler tilt, uh, it's, it's got the powder coated steel uh, pivot point. And then traditionally a car hauler tilt would not have under frame bridging. So on a 10K with H&H, &H, they're gonna go from a six to an eight inch mainframe. So you've got the eight inch frame front to back. And then on this, they've got the six inch tongue and then they do the six inch under frame bridge. In the most critical area of this trailer right here, you've got 14 inches of framing. So pretty heavy duty 10K trailer. Again, being aluminum, uh, this is probably one of the heaviest aluminums, if not the heaviest uh, built in the marketplace of what we've seen. Aluminum wheels are standard. These fenders are removable. H&H &H has one of the nicer uh, fenders removable that I've seen. Uh, very simple pin system. You've got adjustability uh, that you can adjust very simply on the fly. No tools required to take these fenders off. Now, one thing you'll notice on a 10K trailer with H&H, &H, uh, because you've got that heavier framing, you don't get as much fender reveal. Typically, you'd see about nine inches of fender uh, on a straight axle, or in this case, this is a torsion equivalent of a straight axle. Uh, these fenders here, I would say, are gonna be more like about five and a half to maybe six inches at the most. So you get uh, fairly low pro fenders, but if you've got something that you need to take them off for, uh, they certainly have that capability. Now they also do put the handles on the fenders, which are nice, and then they put a, a backer uh, on as well. So get stake pocket and rub rail for tie downs and then we've added the swivel D-rings for extra tie down ability. One of the things I've always liked about h and is uh, aluminums on the tilts. Uh, they do the slimline LED clear lens, gives it a very nice look. 
Uh, going with the heavy duty features of this, I'll show you the underside of this. So most manufacturers, when they do extruded aluminum, uh, there are no cross members. But if you take a look at this one, uh, they've got cross members running roughly on a 14 center. So roughly give or take a 14 inch center on these. And uh, most would just take the uh, extruded uh, two inch junior I-beams, run these perpendicular instead of parallel. So they run a full cross member uh, plus the extruded planking. So pretty tough, uh, pretty tough trailer for a 10K. So standard would be spring suspension. This has been upgraded to a 5,200 pound torsion axle. Of course, when you go to 52s, you're gonna get the bigger 12 inch drum brakes as opposed to the 10 inch on the 7K trailer. Spare tires on these we generally keep in stock. Uh, most folks would do a matching aluminum. We also keep steel in stock as well. Uh, winches we keep eight and 12,000 pound in stock. Certainly put a winch package on any of our in stock trailers. This one with the with the uh, plate there would certainly make it easy to do so. It's a 225-75 R15 eight ply radial tire, standard equipment. And we've done this in a 20 foot length. As equipped here, this unit's gonna weigh a hair over 2,000 pounds. I'll say ballpark, you're probably 22. Take that off the 10,000 GVW, you're gonna get uh, about 7,800 pounds of legal payload. That's not gonna count your tongue weight. Uh, that's carried on the ball and transferred to the tow vehicle. Uh, we can get this in longer lengths. Occasionally we'll do some 22 foot in the 10Ks. And then also it's available in a 14,000 pound GVW which generally would start at a 22 foot length. Standard on this would be a wood floor. Wood's gonna add a little bit of weight. Just again, quite a few different options we can put on this. This is the deluxe has most of what we find uh, to be the most common uh, features that we get asked for. Uh, certainly if you didn't want everything on this, we can take the standard model and a la carte in uh, what you're looking for and do a build. My name is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.